Good day everyone. In this video, we will talk about the factor that leads to the rise of Philippine nationalism. So, in the history of Philippines, the reach of nationalism went rather slowly due to topography, language problems, and colonial policy. Nationalism is not a product of a sudden outburst of sentiment. It is, a, it is brought about a certain factors that gradually developed. It is like a seed nourished by common ideals and, and aspiration from national unity. So, nationalism, once again, is a belief, creed, or political ideology that involves an individual identifying with or becoming attached to one's nation. Nationalism is the feeling of one's of oneness among the people of a certain country. It involves national identity. So nationalism means so the nationalism is simply love of country with all its inhabitants. A state of awareness that a nation does exist and is made of people who own allegiance not only to a tribe clan, region, nor to any religious or political entity. So first, opening of Philippines toward commerce, or we can call it opening of the Philippines to international trade. So transfer Philippines as a center of full trade, provincial port were open to foreign merchants, the rice, sugar, avocado, tobacco, and indigo broke her dependency on the treasury of Mexico, the economy of the Philippines rose rapidly and its local industries development. So it means that the goods from the Philippines could be shipped out of any of the other countries abroad. The goods from other countries could enter the Philippines directly before Spanish banned the other foreigners from living in the provinces or having businesses in the Philippines. They did not apply to Chinese settlers, but it covered other white men. Almost every kind of, of product can be found on the international market such as food, clothes, spare parts, oil jewelry, wine, stock, and currencies. Rise of the Middle Class from 1991 to 2015, 23.4 million of Filipinos joined the middle class, with proportion of middle classes Filipinos increasing by 12.3 percentage points from 28.5% to 40.8%. So, rise of the middle class, intelligentsia or illustrado comprised of the Spanish and Chinese mestizos. Modernization of the country. So, in 1839, the first mail surveys. 1852, first paper money, Philippine Bank. 1880, Hotel de Oriente in Minondo. And for 1846, the first uh, newspaper. Next, the influx of liberal ideas. Due primarily to the opening of Philippine toward trade, the possibility of applying Western thoughts as a means to solve existing problems in the country, also caused by the opening of the Zeus Canal on November 17, 1869. So, the intellectuals of the country gain access to Western political thoughts from the books and newspaper brought by foreign travelers. In the logis of the French and American revolutions, Civoltaire, Rosseo, Locke, Montesquieu, and Jefferson. So, Voltaire, in general, of the art of government consists of taking as much money as possible from one class of citizens to give to another. So, Rosseo indicates man is born free, but everywhere he is in chains. And then Locke said, but there is only one thing which gathered people into seditious commotion, and that is oppression. So, Montesquieu said, society in the onion of men and not the men themselves. 
So lastly, Jefferson said, when the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. So one of the development of Philippine nationalism is secularization movement and the and secularization movement have two factors the regular priest and the secular priest regular priest belong to religious order their main task was to spread christianity while secular priests were trained to run the parishes and were under the supervision of the bishops conflict began when the bishop insisted on visiting the parishes that were begin run by regular priests so secular priests must fill in the vacancy left by the regular clergy in the increase of number in christian convert proved to be too much compared to the number of clerics due to lack of personnel the various religious order open membership to young native filipinos so in 1698 francisco baluyot was the first in the priest so conflict mounted between the spanish friars and filipino priest pedro pilais e sebastian was a filipino catholic priest who favored the right of filipino clergy during the 19th century he was the diocesan administrator of the archdiocese of manila for a brief period of time so in the early 19th century Pilayes advocate to the secularization of Filipino priest and is considered the godfather of the Philippine Revolution. He caused toward beatification has been initiated. He has the title Servant of God. So, liberal regime of Dilatory. He was welcomed by both Filipinos and Spaniards on June 23, 1865 a liberal Spaniard who practiced liberal and democratic principles. He abolished flogging, relaxed media cons censorship, and began limited secularization of education. So, liberal regime of Dilatory was developed a close relationship with the Illustrados. The peaceful settlement of agrarian unrest in Cavite Jesus de la Torre or Guardia Civil police force headed by Camerino, the leader of the revolt. So the story of the Alpargatas began thousands of years ago, as it is believed that Alpargata is a descendant of the Egyptian sandal. Romans later adopt the sandal by adding the upper of for protection. As time went by, the Alpargata was taken to Spain where it took its current shape. So, Cavite Munity, the liberal government established by Governor General Carlos Maria de la Torre and then General Rafael Esquerdo, marked the end of the liberal policies. 200 Filipino soldiers in Cavite Arsenal, abolition of exemption from polo e servicio or the forced labor and payment of annual tribute. On January 20, 1872, the immunity broke out under the leadership of Sir Jack Le Madrid. While January 27, 1872, 41 Muniners were executed including Camarino. So Gamborza alternatively is stylized as Gamborza or refers to three Filipino Catholic priests, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, who were executed by Garote in 17 February 1872 in Bagon Bayan, Philippines by Spanish colonial authorities on charges of subversion arising from the 1872 Cavite Munity. So, the reason of Cavite Motini and execution of Gamborza was the taxes that required them to pay a monetary sum as well as to perform forced labor called Polo e Servicio. The Motini was sparked on January 27, 1872 when the laborers received their pay and realized the taxes as well as the fala. The fine of the fine one paid 
to be accept from forced labor had been deducted from their salaries. So, garrote is a weapon most often referring to a hand-held ligature or a chain rope, scarf wire, or fishing line used to struggle a person. Question Spanish authorities and demanded reforms. Their deaths awakened strong feeling of anger and resentment among the Filipinos or the propaganda movement. It was organized and participated by the illustrators. So the pro propaganda movement is a equality of Filipinos and Spaniards, recognition of the Philippines as province of Spain, Philippines representation in the Spanish Cortes, secularization of Philippines parishes of human and human rights by Graciano Lopez Haina and Jose Rizal. So one of the development of Philippine nationalism is pro propaganda movement which is the La Liga Filipina and La Soleridad. La Liga Filipina had no intention of rising up in arms against the government but the Spaniard still felt threatened. The propaganda movement put up its own newspaper called La Soleridad. Happy in the future